Okay, there are two things to make, take notice of in this question. Firstly, we've got to find a stationary point. So we're going to be doing dy by dx equals zero, but we have to determine its nature. Okay, so one way of doing that is can be to look at the second derivative. So I'm going to start by saying a stationary point, condition for that is that dy by dx equals zero. Okay, so uh, to do dy by dx for this, I have to spot this as a product. So I'm going to have a u and a v, the bracket times a bracket, that's why it's a product. So u equals x, v equals e to the 3x. So I need a u dashed and a v dashed. Differentiate x, we get 1. Differentiate e to the 3x, we get 3e to the 3x. So dy by dx, which is what I wanted, dy by dx equals... Okay, well, the chain rule, the product rule says um, it is u dashed v plus u v dashed. So u dashed v is 3, sorry, e to the 3x times 1 plus u, which was x, times 3e to the 3x is 3x e to the 3x. But I want a stationary point, so this has to equal 0. And to solve this, I have to notice the common factor of e to the 3x uh, times brackets 1 plus 3x has to equal 0. Well, a product equaling 0, first thing could equal 0, e to the 3x equals 0, or 1 plus 3x equaling 0. Well, e to the 3x is never 0. The shape of the e graph looks like this. This is y equals e to the x, or e to the 3x looks similar. OK, uh, it never becomes 0, it has an asymptote. So therefore, that one's impossible. 1 plus uh, 3x equals 0 is solved when 3x equals minus 1. So that's when x equals minus 3, minus 1 third, I should say. So I've got the x coordinate of the stationary point. So I've got to find uh, coordinates, so I need the y as well. So we're going to substitute minus one third into the equation to find y. So y equals x, which is minus a third, times e to the power of 3x, which is 3 times minus one third, which is minus a third e to the power minus 1. OK, which can be simplified to minus a third times 1 over e. That's what e to the power of minus 1 means. So the stationary point is minus one third and then 1 over, sorry, minus 1 over 3e. So I've done the first part. I have the coordinates of the stationary point, but I haven't yet determined its nature. Now for this, we're going to use the second derivative. So I'm going to have to find out where I found dy by dx. So here it is clearly labeled here. I have to differentiate this again and check this out. And if it's positive or negative, that will give me a handle on whether or what kind of stationary point it is. So I have to differentiate this again. Okay, well, um, I haven't got much space down here before the next question. But differentiating e to the 3x is going to give me 3e e to the 3x. Here it is. So that disposes of this term here. And then differentiating this, well, this is just 3 times my original y. So it, the, the answer to differentiating this term here will be 3 times the answer I got when I differentiated y. So the second part of d2y by dx squared is going to be 3 times a bracket. And then the contents of the bracket are going to be this expression here, 3 e to the 3, uh, sorry, just e to the 3x plus 3x e to the 3x. And I've got to check out what kind of value I get for this when x is minus a third. So x equals minus one third. So I'm doing a uh, d2y by dx squared for that. So I'm going to get 3e uh, e to the power of 3 times minus a third is minus 1, plus 3 times e to the power of minus 1, minus um, 3 times minus a third, times e to the power of minus 1. Oops, I put a minus 1, I should have put a plus. Okay, that's copying this expression into here this thing into here. So, um, and this bit here, this is e to the power of minus 1. This is minus 1 e to the power of minus 1. So this term is 0. So this is 3 e to the power of minus 1. So I can say about this d2y by dx squared, this is greater than 0. So d2y by dx squared is positive. It makes me feel smiley. 
So I've got, uh, this is called a convex function with an increase in gradient, with a bending upwards. Okay, but when we get a value of greater than zero um, for d to y by dx squared, we know it's smiling at us. Okay, because it's positive. So therefore, this is a, this stationary point is a minimum point rather than a maximum point. So d2y by dx squared being positive gives us a minimum, which is a fact you need to be familiar with. So here's my stationary point. Here's my verdict on which type of stationary point it is. So I've just about squeezed that into the space.